Hey, welcome out to the Death Battle Cast. Uh, our producer may have forgotten to click the record button for the first minute of this episode, so hi, I'm Chad. Uh, ben hosts the show. On the cast today, we have Sam, Torian, and you know me, uh, plus a special guest, Mr. Margarita, because today is National Margarita Day, and we just want an excuse to rent a margarita machine and drink on the show. Let's get on with the conversation now after this slightly awkward jump cut. So yeah. who knows what's yeah. gonna happen? This is gonna be a special drunk. episode. I I'm gone in for script reviews with Chad. I'm like, is that wine? He's like, it's five. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did that come well, from? Like having drink. to drink at a specific time of the day. Uh, or can you just drink whenever you want? I believe it was a religious thing. Mm, I'm remember, not sure. Right. That's why there's still to drink like, at a specific time so of the day. So liquor stores are closed on Sundays in Texas and a lot yeah. of. Uh, I believe it had to do with that, but I, I'm not a religious expert. Oh, yeah, like so. people were like, oh, you're drinking it. 12 noon, yeah. you were like, I always I can do whatever I want. No, I always thought I'm an adult. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you work during the day and then you go drink at night. I thought that was always it's, what it was kind of about. Not growing up, but like, you know, as like early 20s and like 18 stuff, uh, not 18, but like, yeah, whenever <laughs> my mother would always just say, like, even though she does not drink, like, I don't think I've ever seen her drink. I've never seen your mom drink. Yeah, she doesn't like it. She got drunk once when she was like 23, 40 years ago. And, um, didn't like it very much, so she hasn't tried it again for the last 40. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she would always just be like, it's noon somewhere. <laughs> like you yep. wake up, she'd be like, you want a screwdriver? Like, especially staying over there for, like, Christmas and stuff. And yep. they'd just be like, it's like noon. Not even, it's like 9 in the morning. She's like, want some eggnog? has got rum in it. I'm like, whatever. Yep. Well, so that's it's noon somewhere. And I'm I feel like, like people, people broke their, they found their loophole with the mimosa. Yeah. Like, that's like, the, it's acceptable to drink early in the morning. Like, you, wake a, up, you can have a mimosa. Like a, that's like a the brunch Bloody thing, Mary, too. Yeah. No, the Bloody oh, yeah. Mary is a big morning God, drink, too. Bloody Mary is mm. so disgusting. Bloody yeah, Marys are so delicious. What is a Bloody Mary? What is it? What's, it's what's, what's... vodka, tomato juice, and, like, you really got to spice it up. You have to make a fucking Bloody Mary. You can't just, like, have... Like, oh, here's, here's some tomato juice and some vodka. That's gross. I like, don't understand do the appeal for tomato ju juice at all. I think it's really? disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah it's really I don't gross. Put yeah, it on no, anything. It's, tomatoes, tomatoes belong on nothing but hamburgers and pizzas. Oh my god. Tomato <laughs> juice is disgusting, and most Bloody Marys do taste bad. But a good Bloody Mary, oh, it's I, something perfect. See, I was at this uh, when I went to Andrew's wedding. Uh, yeah. I went to this uh, bar to order some food, uh, and they had their own. Bloody Mary bar with like all their own spices and all the different things that you could put to make your own like custom one there. And I thought of you. <laughs> yeah, usually those kind of are, mm, I don't know. I've been to a lot of Bloody Mary bars and they've got stuff that you don't really need like pickled baby onions and stuff. And I'm like, nah. Pickled baby See, onions. See, nothing yeah. about that drink sounds what? good. I don't want to make my drink food. See, that's that's the, point, yeah. no, but the point of a Bloody Mary is and, like, if you want, a, you want a good ass Bloody Mary, like, you need to be a little bit spicy. You need to, have, you gotta have Worcestershire sauce, probably a little splash of Guinness in it. Let me tell you, you gotta have Man. have a lot of pepper, salt. Definitely, the celery stick is important. But I believe a stick of nice crispy bacon is just as important too. <laughs> you need that saltiness, nice that smokiness in there, like crispy bacon. Yeah, I dude. guess I, I guess I've never tried your Bloody Mary. If I, if so I made Bloody Marys at the home. Like, I prefer a stick of bacon in it. <laughs> really? With the stir a, stick, like that. with it's the so celery weird, stir. Man. Like, it's, it's the shit, man. Fine, it's good. I've never even heard it. of this. Sam, you're going to have to yeah, make us Bloody Marys one day. You yeah, go hey, can we goodness? do that next cast? Bloody Marys. Mary okay. cast and Margarita's next. <laughs> and that's how, Bloody Marys. That's, that's the slippery slope, Ben. You want to start? Sounds good to me. We could find the official, like, if Death Battle was going to have an official drink, it probably would be a Bloody Mary because just the name. Like it's the so bloodiest gross, of though. drinks, like yeah. you know. Although the new logo is kind of blue and uh, neon, so yeah. actually margarita kind of fits that. Oh, but we could have we could have character themed drinks. Like we could have if a character has great. a favorite drink. Like I'm sure Lauren and Nathan or Laura and Nathan had. I would just want to say for most they of them, had a drinks favorite drink, already you know? exist. Like for Superman yeah, yeah. and a Hulk. Yeah, well then yeah, we yeah, can yeah, have yeah. that drink, yeah. or we can make up our own There's drink for a guy. Yeah, yeah. This is great. I I say we need to make this a continuing thing in Death Battle Cast, please. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm mandating this right now. Like you have Character to... drinks. Oh, no, I twist my arm, Ben. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad's exactly. like, ew. Chad's like, yes. Anyway. I knew it. I've been so, planning to see for this. This, this actually isn't 
a cocktail podcast. <laughs> no, we do talk about death battles here. Oh man, that's that's one rooster, rooster teeth should do. They should do the rooster teeth cocktail podcast. You get it? Cause, ha. Yeah, well, yeah. they already have always open. That's kind of cocktaily. But I get what you're saying with the wordplay. <laughs> But that's anyway, we well, do have they're, a... They're, they're, they're in a bar and they drink cocktails and they it. have cocktail recipes yes. like this show. That's most of it. the yes. podcast, though. Like, yes. <laughs> what you trying? Yeah, that's exactly. That's most of it. Chad's over here thinking I said something. You know. Speaking of cocktail cocktails, party. last time we had a community death battle between Darth Maul and Carnage. What well, I a thought you were cocktail gonna... of evil. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah, why exactly. I thought he was going to try Boom, and... Boom, wrapped it up. I did not even... I didn't care. <laughs> I was yeah, trying to make him I just want to talk about this community death battle. So, with every show, we've got that hashtag Death Battle Cast that you can uh, submit questions and answers to community death battles to it's us through there. Twitter. Um, and we've got several really good ones for this one that we talked about last week. Yep, we uh, do. It was Darth. We were talking about Carnage. Yeah, yeah. Because we yeah. all love Carnage. Carnage is such a fun, weird character. Yeah. And we've He's just a we've, badass. And he yeah. had the coolest SNES cartridge. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, that was all red. It was yeah. Carnage. Yeah, right. It was dope. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. we've we've often talked about who would Carnage fight in a death battle, mm -hmm. um, and the idea was presented last week of Darth Maul uh, because I, they're both red, red and black, and then we thought it would be interesting. Wait, Darth Maul with like spider legs or like full put together Darth Maul? Whatever you want to go with, I Wait, guess. Wait, when did he have spider legs? Because uh, he doesn't die in the prequels, and like, well, I guess now because no, no, none of the books are canonical or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he showed he up did. in Clone Wars okay. with the spider legs. Oh, okay. And so then he got, really? see, I don't yeah. know much about Clone Wars. Then he got regular robot legs that were like magically grafted to him by a witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't well, remember seeing that. Isn't it, isn't it the the Rancor witch legs? people that help yeah. him? Yeah, 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 yeah. The witch is a Dathomir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That at yeah all. they gave him new robot legs, and then he. Uh, is in the new series, I believe, right now. I haven't yeah. really caught up on it. He's, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I know some of the random things. He also switches it up at one point, too, and drops, like, the dual lightsaber. And doesn't he get a spear yeah. lightsaber, In Clone Wars, he only uses a single lightsaber. I think at one point in time, he has a spear, yeah, too. Yeah, that's where, like, oh, I don't know he's, he's known yeah. for the, the double-sided spear lightsaber. Yeah. I, well, anyway. I just love that Ben is such a humongous Star Wars nerd, but he tries to drop, like, his knowledge real subtly at times. Like, right then, he's like, with, like, a witch. And then he's like, yeah, 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 witches of death of me. And then, like, you know, you know, <laughs> Well, well, I didn't know there were witches the in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah they're right, Rancors. Yeah. yeah, they're awesome. So it is fantasy. Yes! I think, but I, Star before, Wars, Star Wars before is way I, more, I, I heard you no, saying it was like Star science Wars, fiction, no, sci-fi. Okay. I will no. argue that Star Wars is way more like fantasy than sci-fi. Star Wars but, is science fantasy. Yes. Oh, but like it we're getting off it. track. The whole point of this conversation <laughs> was Darth Maul versus Carnage, and we have some community answers that we need to get to. Gerardo on the board, can you pull up the first one? Declan Mullen. Maul could use the force like a powerful sound wave to contain Carnage and use his lightsaber to burn it. Interesting. Can use you? the force like a... Okay, so Carnage, I believe he does not have the um, sound weakness anymore, though. Not the, oh, like, the, it vibrates him on fire yeah. or whatever. So, right? so the symbiotes usually have a weakness to fire, heat, and to sound. Right. And Carnage like bonded with somebody, I can't remember his name, it starts with a D, Lucio. that uh, erased that weakness. So now he's only weak to heat and fire. Okay. So sound <laughs> won't quite cut it. But, but also, you can force pin him down. Same type of thing. Yeah. Force pin him and then just you know do some work with the lightsaber. Well, the force pin isn't like... It depends, like you know, it's it's like a, it's an amount of force. You can't just like force pin anything. Like you couldn't force pin the Hulk. He would be he would just be like, I'm too strong for that. Like you know, the it's force a, can only well, do so much. much. They, they lifted, flipping an X-wing out of the yeah. swamps. I mean, well, the whole no, point I of the mean, force like, is that there is the no X-wing like, is a joke compared to like Star Killer does it with a star destroyer. Star Killer, that shit's like, so ridiculous. Yeah. The whole point of that scene was that it doesn't matter. Mm. If you have the will to control the force, you can do anything with it in terms of like little so you force. Could pin yeah, the Hulk yeah. Down. So if Darth Maul is good enough and in tune enough, he should be able to just hold Carnage in place, like um, Kylo Ren did in yeah. Force Awakens. So but, you Torian trying to just derail the shit out of this. He's like, oh, so you could pin the Hulk down. So, with, but with I mean, force. the thing with the force, with sure. The force. Oh, probably. Yeah, but the that's Jedi thing, are not, overpowered as fuck. Not man. like Darth. <laughs> not Darth Maul though. Like he's not. Yeah, not, he, it gotta be like Star Destroyer yeah. or Dark Vader. He's a or much better like 
close combat warrior than he is a force user. Like, that's kind of part of his character. That's he how is I not felt when I see him. In like, Phantom he, Menace. He, he, in in oh, a lot yeah. of it. In I mean, Phantom Menace, he's just there to do backflips and, and do cool and, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, and he comes from, like, he, the race, his people are like a warrior race, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if he's necessarily less in tune with the force because of that. Um, as a Star Wars nerd, I know fights. that he's one of the most yeah. powerful users in the galaxy at that time because he's one of the only Sith. He's like the second most powerful Sith. They're trying yeah. to take down the entire government. There's he's a, ready I mean, to go. There's like always. Like, a, there's all. Somebody's like. There's the most powerful Sith, the second most powerful Sith, and then there's no more Sith. That's, yeah. rule <laughs> that's true. That is how true. the rule of two works with this. But Sith. He, he is I mean, able sure, to like, there might be a secret one off on the side. <laughs> An so, apprentice of the apprentice, but I mean, he's there's two Sith. The worst powerful Sith in the galaxy, yeah. or the second most, whichever you yeah, want. Yeah, he's spin. the most sure. Or he's I'm the, just he's the least of the most. Yeah. In, I'm in just saying line. he's being trained to kill Jedi Masters, so yeah. he should be strong enough. But uh, we got, I think, two more answers to get to. Oh, two more answers. Yeah. Mm. Was one of those the Hulk? I swear to God. <laughs> oh. Um, Ryan McLaughlin, Carnage has this fight. Carnage and the host keep fighting after losing his head, and that fire weakness doesn't work. The fire weakness doesn't oh, look work. Oh, he's able to fire in the bottom right corner. Yeah, it looks like he's fine. And also, lightsabers really aren't... They, they generate heat, like, on a, like a molecular level. It's not like if you put your hand near a lightsaber, it's like putting your hand near a stove. It's when the beam of light interacts with molecules that it superheats them, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that, I think that would ridiculously mess with the symbiote, though. Yeah, but you could only sure. poke single holes in them, and we know poking a single hole in them, like, you would have to you get... You can't just get in there and swoop it around? <laughs> you know well, I mean, you, you could definitely. Like, you could stir them up, them. but... Give them a polyworld stomach? But still, <laughs> like, I mean... I don't, yeah. I, I don't think the lightsaber would be able to get, like, every part of them. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think Darth Maul would have faster. to move fast enough to do yeah, it. Which I mean, could, maybe he is pretty good at that. Like, could he? He could, well, he could do like you know, could like he? a like you know, they do the lightsaber throws with the force. Like he could do like a little pinwheel thing. Where it's yeah, like, just like a, yeah, like he a, does, like a lightsaber mm, saw blade thing. That's so specific. That'd be, good. <laughs> That'd be so funny to see that. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine Darth Maul would start trying to cut off his limbs and probably mm. succeed in doing it. Then it would like grow back and stuff, and Maul would realize, oh, I gotta aim for. Probably uh, real time. weak spots like the heart, and mm -hmm. the, the lungs, and the brain. Um, so eventually, I feel like he might be able to hit something vulnerable. I don't yeah. know just how vulnerable Carnage oh, is. Oh, he though. could he could do it like a uh, Kenshi's uh, fatality from Mortal Kombat because Kenshi <laughs> controls things. He just lets his yeah. lightsaber do all the work and for he, him. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, he he raises them up, and the blade is spinning. He just lures them through the blade. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that'd be great. That would be pretty just good. Just split Carnage up to into a bunch of little pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have one more answer, Gerardo? No, that's it. Okay, oh, that's it? Too, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I did get uh, a long response from uh, Specific Nothing on Twitter that made a really good case for Maul. Okay. Um, just going through it real quick. Uh, Carnage is more... He does say that Carnage is more powerful than Maul, but uh, Maul's martial arts superiority and uh, unmatchable speed will overwhelm him, and also Maul can just, you know, stop him with the Force, and the, the blade will be... You no know, fatal to Carnage because of yeah. the heat. I think we all agree that the lightsaber would hurt the symbiote. Yeah, yeah. I would also so. say though that like Kenji fatality, man. That's Maul is much more like a martial artist who is very good at fighting discipline, but in the classic sense of like the whole martial arts be like water thing. You, you, Carnage is the absolute. Like he has no plan of attack that Maul can read necessarily. Like Carnage is just. Well, it's like Carnage will just like the rush at him and just like well, the the shit out of him. The last thing yeah. that he mentioned on, the, on that Twitter post is, I think we we made a mistake in actually pitting these two together because we had mentioned Carnage using spider sense mm -hmm. to be able to predict Maul, and Maul using the Force to predict Carnage. Carnage doesn't have spider sense. Oh, well, yeah. It's only Venom and Spider-Man well, uh, No, I think we originally talked about Spider-Man and then we deviated just to Carnage just because Maybe. how... Maybe. I don't remember, but... Yeah, yeah. He does not have spider sense, so right. he wouldn't be able to predict when Maul no, is doing wouldn't. anything. It's just more of a, if he could rush down Maul fast enough and just impale the living shit out of him and rip him to pieces. Mm. Yeah, but Maul is pretty. I mean, he gets he survives getting cut in half, so it's not like he's. <laughs> it's not like he goes yeah, down. It's not like he got cut in half and then like kept flipping around fighting people. 
Well, he got cut in half and fell down the indeterminate amounts. It just hit a like he hit something down there. Like, <laughs> it's not like, he so, like, it's so not like that pit went to a bucket of pillows. Like I mean, he <laughs> hit some shit as half a person. In that, and this guy crawled out and was like, "Fuck my legs! I'm gonna go get some new ones." Yeah, like, in that know? room that powers the universe or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't and remember just, him having spider with me. Like he, then he that was in the cartoon. He, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he hangs out in a cave for a really long time. He hangs out in a cave for. Like 10, 15 years, and then yeah, his brother becoming goes and like finds becoming him. a spider, pretty much. Yeah. Like, he's, a spider. like, yeah, he's like crawling on the roofs and shit, like being all spidery. Like, well, well, he he literally goes crazy, kind of. Yeah, like, he's, he's the basically the same kind of psyche as Carnage. As half a person. Yes, yeah. he does. He uses the force to stay alive, his sheer willpower to stay alive. Somehow he gets on another planet. I don't remember how. I guess he just hitches a ride when nobody's looking. Um, and then he like gathers a bunch of because he goes to the planet that's like the junkyard of the universe where mm -hmm. people just dump their trash. Yeah, and then yeah. They, somebody dumps him there, and he like puts pieces onto his legs, and somehow oh, that able to might have him. been the thing. Maybe the pit that he falls into is like a trash collection kind of thing. That, that might have be. been how it works. <laughs> yeah. So if you're stuck in the trash, enough, and gets they, dumped I off mean, on the Star Wars, Wars Star, like. Star Wars historically <laughs> does like putting people in large trash cans. Like we've true. seen it multiple times. That's so. true. I got a question. If, yeah, if you go if for you it. if your will is strong enough, could you just not die? Yeah, I mean that's in the forest? why some live for a ridiculously long time. No, that's literally I mean, why like, Palpatine like, no matter is what alive. happens to you though. That Palpatine is, that is... and Palpatine's master. Like if you willed it, could you live without your head? Uh, With the force? I yeah. I, I don't think don't you can think, think so. Think it might be a future Rama head. Your head might live. <laughs> well, I mean, in maybe? a sense, in a I sense, mean, like, you, you still need the brain will, heart like your heart But yeah, I guess. in a sense, like Obi Wan and Yoda do, yes, you do live on forever as as like. The force is spirit. Thing. Sure, yeah, yeah. your body that's you can't living. force you're, your. You're, that's, that's, it is. you're dead. They're still. That's, not they're like, that's, that's more, less willpower, more of being. They are in tune still. With the force. They are still sentient pieces of the force. Like they yeah. can, like they're not entirely dead. Is that why Anakin is still alive? Yeah. I don't know why Anakin like is still alive and goes into the force. It really doesn't make much sense because he's kind of an asshole. But he still no, becomes a yeah, the very end, he, he was like, my off. bad. Yeah, but then in episode three, they introduced the idea that Qui-Gon has to teach Yoda how to do it. Who taught Darth Vader how to become a Force ghost? I, mean, I don't know. Assumably, Palpatine. Then Val is Palpatine still a Force ghost? Is he still running around? I mean, a I, I will not. <laughs> Popper Poltergeist? I will not so be surprised if that is the case. The answer to the question is no. Because even though they're ghosts, they're dead. They lost. <laughs> I mean, he was like, I can live on forever in you know my corporeal form, and I never yeah. have to worry about hunger, they're fear, or anything like that. He'd be like, Nah, you're a ghost. But they can't fight people. It's in the rules. They can't the fight people. No, Actually, they can't fight people. <laughs> okay, so they they lost. No, they, no, 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 no. There is a um, uh -oh. there is DLC for. Remember the Force Unleashed game? Yes. Yeah. Uh, where you would the badass uh, Star Killer. Darth Vader, a secret apprentice who can tear down uh, Star Destroyers. Yeah. There's a DLC for it where uh, it's a what if scenario. If what if Dar Star Killer kills Darth Vader and becomes Palpatine's new apprentice? And one of the missions is going to Tatooine during A New Hope and killing Luke and Han before they leave in the Millennium Falcon. Oh, God. And if right. you do that, then you also kill, have to kill Obi Wan. And if you kill Obi Wan, then he comes back as a Force ghost. And then you fight him as a force ghost. That is a video <laughs> game. <laughs> I mean, that is admittedly cool. <laughs> well, so not Ben real. just dropped the knowledge right on you there. Yeah. Like, you thought you had a point. That oh, was good. So, <laughs> all right, real quick. So, who do we think wins? Force uh, ghost Dark Maul. Maul. Yeah. Yeah. Force I, ghost Dark Maul. Although, can't kill him. does he have the spider's leg? I can't like, remember oh, yeah. who That's said in who who actually. I, no, I actually, like this. Hang on one second. Remember? Me, oh, okay, okay. No, they revert to the most true form. So That's he's right. just so an they, actual spider. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> or he's just half a body. Yeah. <laughs> there was a uh, tweet right afterwards about another matchup for Carnage that we might actually we really like. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to find it because I oh here it is Mr. Oh, the, one, the one that I read uh, I was like yeah. yeah Ben this one yeah uh, Carl Tandler on Twitter says so you guys mentioned wanting to do Carnage what about Carnage versus the T1000 yeah that's great. very interesting I can't believe we never thought about that one yeah. oh the liquid thing yeah the liquid Dude, Terminator. Jesus I'm sorry you in movies man. Just Have you not seen Terminator? No, two? I've seen it. I don't know the robot's movie. name by heart. It's the T one thousand. Okay. What was, the, what, was the the what was the woman? What was the woman? The T. That's the one. It doesn't matter. The T like, three thousand. All the ones. That's no, the like, T X. But think. you should know the Terminators in T two. Okay, but Arnold is the weakest one though. 
The T-800? Uh, no. Except he beats all the stronger ones. Yeah, by the power <laughs> of friendship and writing. By <laughs> the power of friendship and writing? But, yeah, yeah, but in a straight up, like, in, they, in they a die. death battle, the T-1000 should probably win. Yeah, like, oh, even, yeah, even the girl one is better yeah, than him. He, Arnold is always ass assisted by people. With assistance, like they like he kills him. They don't like one on one brawl. He, he, like he, even he pretty the, much like, beats the, the TX the, one to one. Well, no, yeah. the villain, the bad one, and the most recent one in Terminator Genesis was better than the Liquid one. The which one? The in Genesis and Genesis and Genesis. The T one million. Is that what it was? The the one that's Matt Smith. Yeah, yeah. The, they that just one, cranked the number that up. One, that, that, right? that one, yeah, that one beats the Liquid that's one. That's the personification of, Sni of Skynet itself. Oh, well, yeah. then that one like, wins by the fall. <laughs> Genesis, Terminator Genesis is bad. That's what I heard. I'm going to watch it. It was, it was, really good, it was okay. It's really bad. Cool. I saw they had, like, like the they Terminator, had a good arcade game with the guns. That's fine. You don't have to know that he's a T-800 or the T-850 later. No, I just wanted to know the models. The fact that the T-1000, like, that's his name. Like, that's the only thing they refer to him as. Like, it's the T-1000. Like, everyone knows that. Anyway, the whole point was <laughs> Carnage versus T-1000 sounds like a really cool matchup. It does. What do you think, Mr. Margarita? You could start the fight whenever you, like cool. the T-1000 warps in, and you could keep it, because like in the original cut of the film, you can still see a little bit of that guy's balls. They didn't edit it out. Real talk. What? The original T-1000. Yeah, no, 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 watch it, man. Robert go Patrick? Got, yeah, he's hanging a little nut right there. Really? Like, he's got a little ball sack. Then I met him. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah. And I don't want to go see that. Yeah, dude. He's, I, he's, a, he's one of the first the people to sling scrub in the girl no, popular one. movie. I think the girl one would be kind of cool. Good to know. The TX? The yeah. TX is supposed to be a Terminator killer, and then she just gets her ass kicked all the time. By the weakest Terminator. It, well, he does ever. have to like sacrifice himself. To yeah, he no, he didn't just like flat like, out she kick her ass. Up, like three times. She he had help. He used a Sh truck. He, <laughs> he, was, he, he did not have any help at all. <laughs> Is he used no, like he a truck? He was actually having to protect he had two, two, two civilians the, the whole time. It's me and your truck. You got my back. He <laughs> killed her while Hong protecting <laughs> Lane, John Connor, and what's her face? Who he nobody cares about. He grabbed her leg. That's <laughs> 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 not way. And then she she works. like rips him apart and he just puts himself back together and comes back. Like, yeah. oh, now he's now he's oh, that's cool. TX sucks. If you use if you, if you use um Arnold, we've is lost the, the which one? It's really, it's just liquid now. Eight hundred. If you use him now, now he has the liquid one's powers. Oh, in Genesis. Yeah, yeah, because he morphs. Into yeah, some it's super so cool. Thing. That's dope. I do like that. Arnold with the morph powers. That's pretty dope. See, you're ruining shit for me. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, oh, you don't really bad. need to. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we turned the freezy thing off because it was too loud. It's I'm sure you can loud. hear the clicky yeah. clicky already, but if you think this, if we now. turn that on, it's way louder. Yeah. So oh, yeah, definitely. Now we're now we're just you know liquid margaritas. They're no, nothing it's without rocks. Fire. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's still good. <laughs> <laughs> Drink battle margarita. For, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, we do need a community battle for this week. We'll we'll, we'll hang out. We'll see, but, what, um, we'll see what arises. Before we get to that, I do want to talk about. Um, Scrooge versus Shovel Knight. Yep. Yeah, it's coming out next week, and we just mm -hmm. released the Shovel Knight preview uh, today yep. um, on YouTube and previously for first members. And Speaking we actually which, have. Hey, if you guys want to become a first member, you should totally do it. You can watch this podcast live, and then also, if you guys want to watch Death Battle on Monday uh, as opposed to waiting on Wednesday on YouTube, you can become a first member. Great way to support the show. You get to watch all of our videos early, uh, get some exclusive videos. And you can see that, that won't happen. You see? <laughs> see that shit right there? That doesn't happen in the first member what version. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? All right? You know you no. are. It'll help support not. us. <laughs> Just hit buttons. So, so you he hit know. the wrong asset button, obviously. There we go. Hey, look. There no, yeah, there it is. I, was about to, I was about to give him a bunch it's, of shit, but he had an asset ready for it. Look at that. Yeah. Right. I want to I touch it. You can touch it for yeah. free, Ben, by starting a 30-day trial. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below. Go check it out. Go watch our stuff early, and it's a great way to support the show. Thanks, guys. Okay, <laughs> so, you were saying? Uh, we actually have a little tease for what everybody can see if they're a first member. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is probably my favorite 2D animation we've ever had in Death Battle. Yeah, I agree. Ever. Most, Jets most definitely. and Jerky did such a good job with this. But, it um, is the jam. We, we kind of announced that it would be an 8-bit sort of fight, and I feel like a lot of people are a little iffy about that because 8-bit animation is either really good or it's really bad. So I want to show off a little bit of what these guys have put together for this fight, Scrooge versus Shovel Knight. Gerardo, let's check it out.
So I'm excited for that. Dude, yeah. So stoked. So good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The animation <laughs> is so fun on it. And I mean, of course we had to go like 2D because why in our right mind would we ever do 3D with like <laughs> Shovel Knight and Scrooge? Like it would just be weird. Oh but, man, Shovel Knight yeah. in 3D? Yeah, yeah, you know, I know, how horrible right? that would look? Well, he, he's in ukulele, so you have like a little look at is him. He? But yeah, yeah. 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 Um, oh, that's cool. But still, it, I mean, I just oh, they did a such a good job. Yeah, like a realistic, realistic shovel knight. Shovel knight yeah. You, know? yeah. Like, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't make it at all like the cartoon. It'd be like yeah. a guy in a suit of armor. Yeah. Just re really weird proportions. Just ripped guy <laughs> with, with a It'd shovel. It'd be more like Arthur than... Well, we, haven't, yeah. man, we haven't done a 3D night fight. That'd be cool. We'll discuss that here in a second. But go we haven't? To, no, we've done a 2D night fight. We've got to Nightmare, but that's about it. Guess not. And For Honor just came out, too. That's the true. Knights and we Vikings. Can, we so, could yeah. do, that game sucks. Well, we could do the... <laughs> Get this fun, one. Fun. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really fun. It we could literally do... rock, paper, scissors. It's not. Nice. I love that kind of combat style, though. We could do the Dark Knight versus the Black Knight. <laughs> Which Black Knight? What Black Knight? Well, the one from Marvel, I would assume, right? I think, like, every the franchise ever has a Black yeah, Knight. Yeah, the Black Knight. Black Monty Black Python's Knight. Black Knight. No, the one that was... Uh, the Black Knight from Shovel Knight. No, <laughs> the one... The Black Knight class from Final Fantasy. Who was it? It, was, it wasn't Eddie Murphy. Tori um, no, I'm just kidding. Mar I think it was, it was a Martin... L no, no. Someone did a movie, The Black Knight. Martin Luther King? No, it's not. It's not <laughs> certainly was not fucking MLK, let me tell you. MLK did not have a dream about doing a really no. campy... Oh, Black I have a Knight dream. movie. God, to who was Martin Luther King? <laughs> no. That was... It was a terrible movie. You know, you know a, just because his last name was a, King, uh, he is not a king, Torian. I would love to do a... I'd love to do a <laughs> night fight. Uh, a night fight. Night fight. That'd be dope. A knife fight would be good, too. We can do, um, oh, no! We can do, um, who's Cecil from Final Fantasy 6, 5, 4? Cecil Three, is... Cecil. Cecil, 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 Cecil from Final Fantasy 4? Cecil? He, like, he, he puts on Cecil's the armor at one. night, or he's like the... Is he one? I think no, he's no, in no. one. He's in Isn't four. He? Yeah, he he is is I'm four. Sure he's four. 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 Yeah, because yeah. he has a Dragonite armor. Four is the one with the crystals armor. and stuff. Because he's the one he was with all the games. Oh, that's so. Crystal yeah, Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, don't all of them no. have crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Bravely to fall. Cecil, all those things, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Who would Cecil fight? I don't know. Or Cecil? I always called him Cecil. I don't know much about him. So the that's not how. Probably not. People say that name. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Whatever. There's a lot of better Final Fantasy knights. I think you could pick though. I or think he's like, he's like the poster one, though. So. Yeah, fair. Man, there aren't really that many. Like, good knight characters? Like, good knight characters. Like, I mean, I, I, I'm Fate, thinking, like, really over the top, like, kind of, like, nowadays comic booky slash, like, cartoony. Like, for example, King Arthur in the old, um, it's not Knights of the Round, it's, um... Gargoyles? No. King, yeah, he's a badass now, too. I'm just gonna um, go back to Black Knight, except this time from Money Python. I like uh, yep. King Arthur from Fate. He's clearly Fate invincible. He's literally the most powerful one out of all of them, except for Saber, maybe. Mm. I forget what it's called. I always forget the name of it, but it's essentially like Arthur, this whole team Archer of football players. No, no, not yeah. Archer. Art, like, yeah. Is there an actual King Arthur in that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like that story. Why do they do this story so many times where, like, some person gets transported back into Arthurian times? Like, because... They do, that was like the story of the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. If you want to really put King was. Arthur in there, have a kid get transported, transported. back in time. So yeah. This is a football well, team. They were called the Knights, and they get sent back in time, yeah. right? And then, but they all get like badass powers. Like, yeah. it was so to sell toys, but it was awesome. The movie with Martin Lawrence? We, no, no, that was, see, that's that's that was Black one. Knight. <laughs> Thank you. It is Martin that's Lawrence. Thought, Black Knight. Go that's why I was yeah. like Martin something, and then, yeah, it's Martin Lawrence. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, the Black Knight. I love that Torian knew it, and the whole time. Yeah. Surprisingly, instead he went with Martin Luther King. I, look, okay, here, here, here's my thing with movies, right? I know you guys think I know movies. I know movies. I don't know them by actor name or title. You know by the, just, like the fight like, choreographer yeah, or just like random for, steals in my head. Except for Black Knight, which he knows by the title in actor. No, uh, no, okay. So look, when I was thinking about it, I was like, there was a movie where a guy got transported back and he fell into a moat, and I was like, 
It was Walmart yeah, it was and like, Lawrence. It was like three years after but, Whoopi Goldberg got was, teleported that was, back. That was, yeah. that, was, that was the image that like, was in my head, movie, and yeah. then I reverse engineered. <laughs> yeah, and it was Black Knight because it was a black dude oh. in the medieval times. It was another black exploitation movie. We had a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why am I blanking on that name? You will not hear me on the podcast anymore because I disconnected my mic. Gerardo has something important to say. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. I'm back. Yes, there you are. Did you just pull your mic out? It fell For a off. second. Yeah. Even, Don't worry off. about him. He's good. I'm back. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> and King Arthurian times. <laughs> King Arthur and the Knights of what? Justice. The cartoon? Yes. Okay, okay. so we're just looking for a knight. Who's he going to fight? We could do, awesome. what about like Legolas versus Guinevere, maybe? <laughs> There's, no, there's, uh, Merida. I mean, there's Siegfried from Soul Calibur. He's a knight. Yeah. There's um, also Siegfried from Final Fantasy IX. It's Siegfried. Yeah, yeah. yeah Siegfried. We did Nightmare. That's so close. Like, there's a bunch of Final f or, or, or Fire Calibur. Emblem Knights. Fire That's Emblem true. Knights. A lot yeah, of yeah. Fire You're Emblem right. There's Knights. a bunch of Fire Emblem yeah. Knights. I mean, there's a bunch of princes and stuff like that, too. Some but... Valkyries. Some Valkyrie profile characters. Yeah. Valkyrie. Like, like, the Valkyrie Valkyrie is really strong. Yeah. Like, silly, like, lays waste to armies strong. Like, it's not... Yeah, Joan of Arc. She's a knight, kind of. Joan of Arc. Yeah, there she was. <laughs> That's her Dude, whole thing. especially, sure. man. What's so weird is I, Ben and I have talked about this before, too. Whenever, you're like... One of these characters like King Arthur, or something that's been this historical figure that's been around for so long, that has been used in so many different types of media. We're always like, if we do one of those fights, it would be fun to use like all of their reimaginings and iterations to the ultimate give, compilation. That would be, yeah, it's like thing. the ultimate compilation. And so it's funny you mentioned Joan of Arc because in uh, this anime Drifters, she is evil as shit. Yeah. And because she had you know gotten burned at the stake, she has fire powers like. Crazy pyrokinesis. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, like surround a village with she fire was, uh, and like it's crazy. She's super powerful in another anime too. Like every every Joan piece of popular in anime. Yeah, yeah every, you know that. well, in a few video games too. Like every iteration that I see her, she's like ridiculously powerful for some reason. Okay, <laughs> I mean, Joan of Arc for you. She's got a couple she's games. She's highly on PSP. respected, and I feel like if anybody puts Joan of Arc into a story, they'd get kind of shit on if they tried to. Downplay her. <laughs> well, I mean, she had a lot of, you know, she's really evil and has a bunch of fire powers. And then the main character punches her in the face and leaves her in a well, and you won't kill her because she's a woman. Well, mm. okay, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you this know. This is old timey, though, so you know, you gotta yeah. have your morals. Well, there's a game she has on a PSP. <laughs> they were more than happy to burn her at the stake, but <laughs> kill her, no. <laughs> I'll leave you in the bottom of a well, lady. It's, it's very fun that you say, like, Valkyries are pretty OP. In her game, she kills a Valkyrie, like, a couple of them. Like, so she's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Joan of Arc has a video game? She got a couple on no. uh, PSP. They're like Eudrasios, you Are something. they like, wait, really? Super fantasy, like high fantasy magic stuff? Or is it really like well, the story where, of Joan Whenever of Arc? she's like reimagined, it's usually like in some weird fantasy world. Jefferson, that's a fantasy anime, even though their combat and strategies are still. Yeah, but Based I mean. But history. she has magic power, so that's <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> the second you got magic, you're yeah, fantasy. Yeah, that's fantasy. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, we could do Merlin versus Gandalf, though. Okay, so, all right. Here we go again. Uh-oh. So, I mean, Ben and I have talked a while about, like, because, like, Gandalf versus Dumbledore has been suggested, but then we also started That's talking about... Knights. Up. What's up? That's not knights. No, but we've moved no, no, from he's, knights he's to, moved wizards. to wizards. Oh, okay, wizard it battle. Is the, <laughs> it's, it's the natural order we of talk, things. We talk about right. this, we've talked about this sure. before on the cast, but, like, this, like, I want to do... Uh, like an old wizard battle, really bad. An but old then it's wizard. like specifically like an old wizard. Yeah, well, yeah, that's Gandalf, Dumbledore, Merlin. They're all old wizards. That's what they do. Um, that would be dope if they're they like be old out. and they be wizards. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what they do. Yeah, <laughs> they should just hang out in a bar together and they should be smoking pipes and making like weird smoke ships and shit and get There's in a, a smoke blowing competition until they just fight each other. Are there a few iterations of Merlin is. that's a woman though? Yeah. Yeah, but like times. that's not. But mm, really, it's like a different the, Merlin. The fact, Are you thinking of Morgan Le Fay? No, no, he's no, talking no. about there. There are versions of Merlin that are that are women, and like, they have magical in their wizards. Strangely enough, one of them is in a Sonic game. Actually, I think she's the daughter of Merlin. Um, there's, yeah. oh, there's a Merlin. She's one of the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, there's another female Merlin in Tales of Symphonia. Hang no, on, that's okay. Did you say that Merlin is one of the Seven Deadly Sins? You know, there's greed, lust, sloth, and Merlin. Don't, Wait, don't in, Merlin. In, in what? She, Magic. She's the sin oh, of that um, Netflix series. Yeah. Okay, I haven't watched that. Oh, okay. Lust, because she lusted after power? I don't know. She looks, she's dressed very scampy, so it might be, mm. might be lust, but she's <laughs> super powerful. Is she called Merlin? Yeah, that's her name. Not like Merlina or anything like mm. that? Just hey, Merlin. Merlin is an equal gender name, Ben. 
Apparently, I'm, yeah. I'm learning this today. Oh yeah, man, it's, it's dope. Abe and I have been going back and forth on baby names because I'm having a son. Merlin's up there now. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I love I love getting ones that I know will piss her off and be like, what about oh, this? Man. It's so much fun. I, you know, it's very niche, but that series has a ton of knights. Like, they have, like, the holy knights. Gil Thunder, Gilgamesh. If we just want generic-ass, like, knights. No, they have magic powers. That's a, it's a fantasy well, anime. They have magic powers. We could take Generic-ass magic knights. Yeah, yeah, generic-ass magic knights. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into lightning. We uh, could take... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we could take a lot of knights from, like, Dragon Age, too. They got mad knights. I feel like there are a lot of knights available. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, we'll look into it. Dragon Quest? Anyway, <laughs> needless to say... <laughs> We didn't have any night battles planned <laughs> for this season. So Apparently I'm sorry not. to ruin well, that mystery for Shovel you. Knight. Oh, you're right. Yeah, except there for Shovel Knight. Just it all comes what back. There we are. Well, Can't I was even thinking about okay, we great. Talked about. So we've turned it all the way back around to Shovel Knight. Let's not <laughs> continue to deviate. Shovel Knight. All right, so that preview just came out. Sam here, a cool guy, wrote about it. He's yeah. the writer of the episode. I did so, some doodles on paper. What do you love about Shovel Knight? You wrote about Sam? it. You what didn't I love about Shovel Knight? I mean, Shovel Knight. Like as a character, he's just fun because, like he's he's like the right kind of I'm a serious knight, but he doesn't really take everything like super, like too over the top. Because you know a lot of times when you write like this, like okay, we need you know the knight that saves the princess. He's yeah. like, mm -hmm. way too heroic and stiff. Lady, I'm gonna slay the dragon and yeah, get you yeah. and see yeah, exactly heroic and stiff. <coughs> and Shovel Knight is like he still encompasses a lot of that stuff. Well, it's not managing to be too uptight and like just. I'm a knight from the Middle Ages. Like he's fun. <laughs> he, you know. So he's not a dick. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, he's he's a little. He doesn't understand sometimes, with you know. But he's just like, whatever, let's fight. Like, he just wants to get paid. Yeah. There's no. He, but he's just doing his thing. Mainly, he wants to rescue Shield Knight. Entirely, he wants oh. to rescue Shield Knight. In Post, the yeah, game. Before, the bonus. before rescuing Shield Knight, and assumably after. He just wants, they just want to, like, adventure and do night shit. Like, he yeah. ain't even worried. He's not like, hey, <laughs> we got to uphold all these laws and stuff. He's like, let's go do some so badass night shit. Well, he's he he the land Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's slaying, like, monsters and stuff because it's dope as, yeah. Well, it's mainly for the adventure and because it's dope as hell. Like, he fight, <laughs> he he's just dragon? doing it because, he, like, he's just not, he's just trying to be, like, you know, uphold the code of chivalry. He ain't messing around about nothing. Does he fight a dragon? Uh, he fights dragons. I feel yeah. like as a knight, that has to be like. Oh, he thing. definitely fights a dragon. You fight, you kill dragons in the game, but they blow bubbles, which is weird. You kill a dragon in the first level. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But he blows bubbles. That don't count. Well, it's dragon. like a sleep, but isn't it? It's like bubble dragon sleep bubbles. Count? No, bubble uh, maybe that is why I can't. I mean, is it? Is only almost a. He's just kind of trying to take a nap, and yeah, then shovel knight comes in yeah. to ruin <laughs> this dragon's sleep. Yeah, I mean, bubble dragon. Bubble Shovel Knight track. isn't like the nicest guy. He will interrupt like, and that's why it's perfect in this because he doesn't like think shit through a lot of times when it comes to like going somewhere. He's just like, no, we'll go there and defeat the bad guy. Like he's got like you know that attitude about it. So yeah. like, it's well, great maybe that he we just should plant. And he's just already like, let's go. Well, no, he's, yeah, he just sniffs out the gold. He's like gold, and he goes there and he's already just jumping you know, on the shovel. Yeah, yeah. That's the way he goes. Like, what are you doing? Just walk. He's sho shoveling. Why would you walk when you can bounce everywhere? Yeah. Really, Not know. to mention, you also got your propeller. Do you break that down of why why you can do that? Why you can bounce on stuff on the shovel, and off other stuff. Yes. It's, what do you mean it, break that? Like it, immense skill. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You think? I don't care how much skill you have, you can't make something bounce that doesn't bounce. You can. You. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Can you? Yeah, but you just hold it and jump. And then balance and keep throw something. Oh, oh, oh. You so can we, throw okay. something with enough force for it to come back up. All right, let me let me let me <laughs> scoop, let me he's scoop got this mad in. Hops, so yeah. he's, he's I was just about to say that he's jumping and just landing on the tip of this shovel, balancing perfectly, and then jumping with the shovel. What? Why? To have, have them to again. do to yeah. fight effectively. <laughs> It That's does. how plus, he fights. Plus, when you wear your dynamo armor, if you bounce off their head once, it gives you an instant full charge. Then you can land and unleash a super slash. It's his fighting style, Torian. Okay, I, I think hey, two bounces actually. If it was a pogo stick, then I, I would. 
be on board. Now just imagine a pogo stick that's just a solid stick, and you have to throw your entire weight stick, behind it to get it back up. pogo stick is engineered to bounce. Right, without your effort, without any effort from you. His. So if you had to throw your entire weight behind it in order to bring it back he up, has to that's land, what Shovel Knight has to he do. He has to land, instantly he, catch his balance, and propel himself again. Mm -hmm. yeah. for, for you, Tony, that's how good he is. For you, Tony, I'm just going to say that he talked to the once famous scientist that invented Flubber, and he just coated <laughs> the tip of his uh, shovel blade with it, and so... It's flubber. That, that's what that's what really does it. Yeah. Well, then he wouldn't hurt anybody because when he landed on them, the flubber. No, would trust me. We've seen flubber. We've seen flubber. We've seen flubber. It it hurts people. Do trust we me. do we need to go <laughs> into the flubber conversation again? How does this random? It is really funny thing how often keep flubbers up. come up on this cast. Well, the margaritas are quite green, and I'm going to get him in a flubber death battle me. one day. Yeah, flubber we're gonna me. get we're gonna get we're gonna get flubber in a battle against something maybe carnage. Current to lose. Well, nothing can How beat do you the flubber. flubber. No, damn it! We're gonna. Oh, I don't want to talk about flubber, flubber would just, again. It, oh, flubber would no. just expand and encase Carnage in it, and it'd be over. This sounds like a great community death battle. Just literally everybody against Flubber. How do you kill Flubber? How would you kill Flubber? Wait, how did they get rid of it? No, you can't. How did they get rid they of it? They contained it. The movie ended. They contained it, and yeah. it's his friend now, if I remember right. right. Yeah, it was. They oh, it is his friend, but they don't contain it. Well, I mean, yeah, they contain it, but they don't kill it. Is what I mean to say. Okay. They don't kill. They don't kill Flubber. No. No, I don't think okay. they can. I mean, I'm sure there's I some he sort of like. It or something. Oh, shut up. Just what Whoa, if it's Flubber if they, versus Captain America's shield? What if, no? But what if the symbiote the just takes explode. over Flubber, and then it's just Flubber is a little carnage, like? <laughs> what if I think Flubber that's the best idea. got a hold of some vibranium and like built yeah. it around its body, or like absorbed it into its body? Well, that's what it needs. It would be the vibranium flubber. Yeah. It'd be indestructible and incredibly bouncy. Nothing could touch it. Viflubium. Would it be able to flex? Viflubium, perfect. Would it be able to flex with the vibranium? I mean, so long as it just like it creates a body out of it. Certainly be able to flex. Be able to on I don't people. know. Like, it wouldn't be able to bounce. And look at it this way: Black Panther's suit is made of vibranium. Yeah. And he's moving that somehow. Yeah, but it's oh, all it's like woven. And it's oh, like yeah. you know. It's, a, I, it's I, like what, a chain. From like, what like, he yeah. said, the flubber just found a hunk of it. Just. <laughs> And just grabbed it and was like, yeah! <laughs> well, Flubber can, like, make, assumably, infinite energy. Like, I mean, he isn't... And he... Uh, we're talking Ow. about... We're, okay, we're talking about Flubber... God damn it. Who gives zero shits about the laws of physics. Like, none of... He's like, <laughs> laws? Fuck that, I'm Flubber. Like, he can pretty much do what he wants as far as I'm concerned. He's a sentient ball of, like... Whatever but is past non-Newtonian liquid. Yeah, he's sentient. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't... Yeah, you remember? He, he makes, makes all his little, little jokes and he dances and sometimes he pops his oh, little butt out right, and moons right. people. Yeah, I'm not saying he's, like, smart. He's kind of immature, but he is young. Know, he's remember, only, like, was, three uh, days old when he's doing that <laughs> shit. Plus, he's doing a lot for a little ball of goo. I didn't yeah, know really. it was, like, alive. I've never seen any ball of goo like, do that much. You thought the movie was about discovering a bouncy ball? No, no, no. I just thought he kind of, like, just mimicked the... Well, I guess he would have to be sentient if he was to do that. Yeah? Never mind. I mean, you're saying to a, some degree. Like, a parrot ain't sentient? You being like, that parrot's dumb. Like, he's a rock. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> parrot's sentient. They smart. They talk. They mimic. They squawk. Flubber's fine, man. Yeah, squawk, squawk, Flubber. <laughs> squawk, Hashtag Flubber squawk, for death battle. Squawk, squawk, Flubber. This, this sounds like a pretty yeah. good topic for our sudden death, uh, first exclusive sudden death episode. How yeah, to kill sure. Flubber. More Flubber? Can't, Listen. man. You can. Burn it. Is that it? I think he would just overpower the sun. No. He would just get, it, he would just get in this. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to miss this. The last two weeks we haven't done it. Like, we don't have to do this every week. We just do it when we want to. But Austin keeps telling me that the out of comic context panel that he picked is just absolutely hilarious. Yeah, we do need to get to that. So I Let's really want to make sure we do it. This and week. We have, we, we've been veering off topic like three times this episode. Now already. we have. Hey, Flubber likes to bounce around. So you know what? Let's uh, just go straight to it. Mm hmm. Time for the hit us with it, Gerardo. Out of context comic panel of the week. Wee. Wee. You know what? You guys Look out! Leave me alone with that. Plant man. What? What? Look out! Plant man is throwing coconuts from that tree. Coconuts to you. Oh, oh my that's pretty God. good. That is pretty good. What? That's, <laughs> that's Wait, that's pretty. also okay. So this is Power Man. This is Spider Man. Yeah, I think Who's it's Mary the woman? Jane. Well, Mary Jane. Plant Man? It looks like, like Spider-Man, Mary Jane, and Luke Cage, and uh, yeah. Plant Man? Plant Man. Whose power is throwing coconuts? Mary Jane's power did is Did he grow like, a tree? What did he grow? Oh, shit, he might have. 
<laughs> his is, leg, is the tree his free. legs? Is that what that is? Maybe. I mean, that's a good he's, plan. He's like, that's like, the new um, execute. <laughs> he's, claiming? he's just riding one. This is a lowland executor. Yeah, yeah, real yeah. talk, she should be worried though, because coconuts are dangerous as shit. They are. Coconuts, falling coconuts cost like, more injuries than sharks every year. I like how like, she's telling Spider Man, a person I like how who can serious see you danger. Were like, you, they are dangerous. Go. That is correct. Yo, man, coconuts yeah. hurt people. It's true. They fall from trees all the time. I mean, because they're giant. Yeah, bonking people. They're tree they're rocks. rocks. They are tree rocks. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. They they're are pretty, tree rocks. They're pretty they fall tough. from the sky. Or Don't stand as you under call a coconut them tree. Nuts. Why was, but, <laughs> you know. why was Power Man there? Who? That was Plant Man. Luke Cage. Diversity. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Just him and Plant Man were up to some he shady business. Too, he's like, shit. You. He's like, <laughs> seriously, you think the comic when, book artist? You know, was why am like, I here? The comic book artist was just looking at the panel and went, oh shit, there's too many white guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. Here's like, the thing, though. So did he just have like a big negative space in the bottom right? Well, I like yeah. to think that in that comic book, I like in the context over. of that scene, Luke Cage didn't appear until that one panel. Yeah. And then he's just kind of there. Perfect. It should have just been Luke Cage. Like, hey, what y'all? Oh, shit, he's coconuts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> See, that would have been better. But no, he has to. the bad guy has to yell the coconuts but, okay, but to you. What's the point of Plant Man? Is he like the poison ivy of Marvel? Well, no, but like, why, why is he upset and what's his point? Because like, he can't just be trying to rob banks. Because if you're Plant Man, you can just make plants. Like, besides so the Do you know who like, Plant Man is? He can I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of Plant Man. Before. I'm, no, I'm old, assuming he's like, like, a, like, a, like a poison ivy, right? Who can yeah, just I've grow seen him for a, exactly. I've seen him for a couple of like looking at desk of shit where it's like, let's find the really stupid old, you know, uh, like old villains and stuff. And Plant mm -hmm. Man is on the list, but it, like he does exactly what you'd assume a Plant Man would do. He just grows plants. Yeah, but like I don't know what his purpose is, cause back then, like you know, he's from that time period where it's like, let's rob a bank, and then the superhero saves a bank robbery. But you're a plant man, like you, you, grow some fucking saffron. Maybe like that grows. shit's way better than money. You That's can just true. make like can he control what he grows. Yeah. Uh, in a lot of circumstances, yeah, he like you know, cause he's like, boom, I'm growing vines to like wrap you up in and stuff. So so he did grow that tree. He just starts growing he weed. Could. Selling it. Hmm. Weed is, it is so not worth as much as saffron. So true. go back to saffron. Is it, it more it's also so him legal manipulating everywhere. the plants than growing them? Because poison ivy, she's like the source of the plants. Is he just controlling them? Like, is there a tree next to him? He can just grab the tree and make it grow. Probably. I think it's the latter one. Okay. I know there's been you know two what, iterations you know what I of know? Plant Man. I know something very clear. Nobody gives a shit about Plant Man. No. No one does. Nobody, Nobody does. cares. <laughs> No. He throws coconuts. We <laughs> he got can that throw much. coconuts and, and he can puns. do stuff with plants. Back, that was when comics were simpler and coconuts were a threat to the superhero. Uh, yes. Like, could you imagine someone tossing a coconut at Spider Man these days? He'd be like, what? Well, that was yeah. Mary Jane going look out, and Spider Man's still, response is probably, whatever. Miss, do you know me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking Spider Man! Actually, actually yeah. him throwing the coconut leads me to believe that he doesn't have any powers. Why do you throw the coconut? No, he can make trees grow, so that's which is now. Fun, dude. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I the guess. whole comic was building up to that fun. I guarantee you, when he exited, he was like, time to leaf. And he goes, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's the last we ever saw. That's the last yeah. we ever started that comic They could could bring him back yeah. now, because he could yes. do stuff like, he could be fighting, like, one second, I need to do a vine. Hey. Oh, Where would God. he go? But Vine's it's dead, dead now. Just, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Where would he go? Yeah, whatever. It's a little Fuck too late. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, Servers, though. I'm what blaming does that mean? margaritas. He did not arrive in Vine. Hey, my thing of the week works this week. Mm. Does it? Yeah. Does it? Is it the same thing as last week? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it works. I think so. Um, Was it just thing of the week? Yeah, it's my thing of the week. Um, oh, it's from Flashpoint! <laughs> you made punches. this! You forgot! You see, you... I do a lot right. of stuff. This is <laughs> a good series, series of punches. punches. Mm. Oh, oh, that's a punch. Shit. But this is not real. punch of the week. That is real. No, it's not. Oh, man. It's just this whole scene. Oh, that dude oh, had to this. take that punch. Oh, oh, oh you had to take oh, this oh, table. Shit, man. That hurt. That guy's straight up receiving a real-life ass whooping. Yeah, like, who is no... that stunt actor? 
I don't know. They ain't no actor. They just found some dude who beat the one. shit out of him. <laughs> 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 that guy's just walking through an alley. He's like, I'm having an all right day. And then this guy comes out. He's like, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donnie Yen just pulls him into the shoe and yeah. starts yeah. beating him up. Just beats the hell out of him. And in the end, they just throw money on his unconscious body and leave. <laughs> no. Oh, you man. know, they actually kind of did that jerk. back <laughs> in the day for when they were filming, uh, I believe it's Thunderbolt, the, the James Bond, like 007 Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. Um. They're in I mean, I Thunderball. Say, Thunderball, yeah. I believe they're in. I want to say it's like Thailand, and uh, it might be Vietnam. And they couldn't get any police cooperation to do the chase scene through the crowded streets, so they just said fuck it, and they did it. And the people, the cars and shit, they hit. They just hit real people on the road. <laughs> oh my god! And they had they had people and cars behind mm. them that just paid for it. They were just like, here you go, here you go, and they just got the shot. Really? Yeah. That's so that's awesome. That's, I that's, that's really up. good. That's According awesome. to, I can't remember, I think it was the director that, that was I mean, in like I one see of the things. Thunderball was the one that was made outside of MGM. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a... I, I, I want to go look that up. It's huh, on like the DVD commentary or something like that. And it's just like, they're just like, really? And he was like, we just had cars, phone them, paying people off. And, you know, <laughs> 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 so good. So what they had to do to I get the shot. I love to make movies like that. that was, oh, yeah, yeah. That's how you get the real stuff. Yeah, until you it's accidentally real. hit someone for real, and then, like, the mother, like, is crying over a dead child, and somebody's like, yeah, let's, let's, get two, let's get two stacks for this two one. There you go. <laughs> well, wow, all right. I know. They're trained like, drivers. They got this. Yeah, I imagine them just yeah. driving away, throwing money out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Here you go! Oh, it's enough for the damages! <laughs> and then another guy's just on a speaker's like, by accepting any of this money, you agree to waive all life, all, <laughs> no, yeah. all, yes. all liability. Because they totally get that in English. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. still part of that it. That will hold up in know. court. He's, we, yeah. have, we have audio of us yelling the terms of service. <laughs> See that guy? He hesitated. <laughs> Everybody he us, in this area that agreed. Yep. Just by being here. Yep. They just put signs all across the road. Like, if you're in this area, you can be filmed. Yeah, attention, everybody. We will be filming in the next, uh, if you can't, don't vacate the premises. In about 10 seconds, you agree to waive all rights, uh, and then you will be used, and your property can be damaged. So just, I know. 10, they, 9, 7, 6, 5, Okay, cool. They did that recently, too, for, I can't remember the director's name, but he does the Death Race movies, or the producer's name. He does all those movies. He gave, like, Ron Howard a he start, like, all these people. He those movies. Yeah, well, they Shocking. just came out with a Death Race, like, Yeah, 20, 2023 or 20... Yeah, 2020, 2050 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, they Some still shit make like that. Them. And that one they filmed in, I want to say something... A very small South American country, almost for that same reason, because apparently they did some shit where they were just like, oh, you want to blow that building up? cool like here's how much like it was just like anything you could just like whatever you know so like, if you want to do some stuff there was always a number on That's it it was crazy. like if you want to drive through if this street got it like we tax just... breaks and the ability to vandalize property <laughs> you go film well, in another country it wasn't vandalized it was just that everything had a price on it like you could you, you could afford a lot of stuff then. too like you're in you know a country that Even does you. not have a lot of wealth so they're just like yeah i guess i mean Five thousand dollars is more than that building's worth. Blow Come on, the fuck man. Up. man. Like, <laughs> big oh movie God. studio comes along, say, "Hey Ben, we're gonna uh, shoot a very dirty, horrible <laughs> crime scene in your house. No props, all your stuff. Two hundred grand, Duh. And, and they're gonna leave it the way they left it. Like what Can they, I whatever take select do. items out of there first? Nope. It's all for. Uh. Got to be authentic. Can I choose which room it happens in? <laughs> no, it's your, no, your apartment Yo, was the, was the deal. He said 200 grand. How much damage yeah. are they going to do? They're not going to do structural any, any, damage, any, are like, they? So, like, any any apartment damage, like, they've already paid off, the, like, the complex. Now they got to pay you off to fuck so all your shit stuff. up. Okay, so the complex yeah, is already being paid off for it. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's 200 I mean, grand. They're gonna Fuck burn yes. them. So what if they just go? They're like, okay, great, we got it. Do I wait, 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 do, do I get, just do, do I get the 200, 200 grand up front? Yeah. Okay. I can yeah. probably figure it out. Well, what the what the hell's in your apartment worth more than 200 grand? I can I can make you probably, you probably have some personal stuff. You might have some. Sentimental. I'm also taking my car. I don't have fucking anything important for 200 grand of sentiment. Like I'm sentimental as shit. I got tons of stuff. I'm talking about like they, they say action and throw a match and your whole Astros, apartment yeah. goes up in flames. Uh, yeah, well, no, that's not see. Well, I feel like grand. the apartment complex itself would get. No, would have they were already paid up. Don't oh, worry so about that. That's you don't have fine. to worry about that. That's under terms and agreements. Don't they, worry about they that. They were okay with them burning down the apartment. Yeah, don't worry about it. They, they got insurance. They, they're burning all okay. your stuff though. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Like take my security deposit? Fuck you! I just got 200 G's. 
Yeah, I mean, that's true. That's dumb. That was way too high. Your baby pictures? I'm in Your it. Your social security cards? Dude, I'm in I it. I guess like you can get all that grand. stuff back. I'm on it. Like 10 G's, I'm on it still. Ten, really? Yeah, I, I do it for 15. I don't got 10 do. grand worth of shit in my house. Hey, Are you kidding me? if you're sitting at home and you've got like 10 to 15 grand that you always wanted to do something just and really you silly just wreck with, my shit. you can wreck their house. <laughs> you can I walk. Told, you I totally like, do it. Can you I totally you? do it. I totally do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what about animals? Can we, can we say that? Obviously, animals? we don't want to murder any animals. I uh, ain't got none. I know. I'm talking. What are you going to do? Like, turn Alexa on and stab her? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want, I want a shot of that. I want a, hey, get a shot of us killing the Alexa. Where what is you, it? What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Game Attack has an Alexa. Let's go get that. It's a Sean's house. He's like, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Why did you guys have an Alexa? Because it was going to be a cast member, but we did it once, and then it got annoying. She so wasn't we, funny enough. No, she wasn't. It was... Oh, wow, wow like geez. Mr. Margarita, he's hilarious. Yeah. Mr. Margarita is hilarious. Can he Mr. Margarita be on every single he podcast that we do on from you. now on? Uh, yes. I, I can't, if y'all were gonna reference him like Mr. Margarita, I would've got the fucking googly eyes out of my drawer. Oh, oh my god, we'll do, do that for double talk, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Real quick, let's hear what he has to or say. <laughs> He's good. Fascinating. Dude, he looks good with the mic. He really yeah. needs some googly eyes. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. Him. We gotta Yo. answer some questions. Sorry to cut you off, Mr. Margarita. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really thought He's you the host that, off. He's the host that keeps on giving. Yes. Very much so. Anyway, question number one. Giving margaritas, <laughs> am I right? That was the joke. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> All right, from Carrick, um, Inabit? Inabit? <laughs> Carrick, um, shit! Inabnet. Inabnet. Sorry. Inabnet. I apologize. Have you guys considered a guest star to do the analysis with you guys in the same vein as Deadpool? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Mr. Margarita? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Margarita is going to be in Scrooge vs. Shovel Knight. <laughs> it would make sense that Boomstick is good friends with Mr. Margarita. Oh, yeah, like, like the guy who makes him. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I mean, but in all seriousness, like, oh. we, we have talked about, you know, potentially bringing on guest stars uh, to help um, introduce characters and analyze them. Though there was a theme that was implemented very early on with Death Battle where we always want to make sure that Wiz and Boomstick, the fictional characters who are presenting this fictional information, um, are perceived as the experts. Like, they're supposed to be the experts. And if Wiz and Boomstick need help figuring something out, it feels like it goes a little bit against that. But, I mean, not necessarily. So, you know, we could have somebody come in. Yeah. Makes sense. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. any different, like, if there's something specific enough that you could call in an expert at. Because you can still be a well-versed expert, but like if there's a specific thing with like a type of ant, you know, maybe you could get an yeah. ant expert or something. An antologist or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't think. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, really an antologist? What's oh these questions? shit! Is who what? We're well, not gonna have enough time to do for this. the raids and stuff. All right, this we dude. We have plenty of time. Whatever. This dude went ham. Oh my god, uh, Marky and Mark? He, yeah, so he went crazy on figuring out the Raisin Brand Sun. Man, where did he find raisins? So, so he's looking at, oh, this is amazing. Okay, so he's looking up, assuming that the raisins are normal sized raisins, the sun has a diameter of 9.8 raisins, not including the triangles coming off of him, right? Which are presumably lo loops of plasma. This is amazing. So the actual sun's volume, based on how many raisins are around him, is, uh, it's a little hard to read from here, uh, 1.4 uh, by 10, I can't actually read that. It's, it's... 10 over 29. I, 10 I unfortunately can't read power. it from here. But that's his size, and basically, I believe what he comes to is that the sun is pretty fucking small, <laughs> actually. Yeah, but so, but I do love that one scoop of galactic raisins combined are a whole lot of kilograms. Um, <laughs> that's that's when we move up into grams. <laughs> but all right, uh, with raisin bran, you always get two scoops. So let's um, what? the most times interesting. Times two. Wow. The most interesting thing I see on here is he says the the raisins are mainly glucose. Yep. Which is uh, C6H1206, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, all that hydrogen will become a star. So apparently the Raisin Brand Sun is holding many stars. Mmm. Interesting. Wait, what? I, I think because he would... 
don't you know, know what that formula is, but yeah, apparently it's like hydrogen. All, all I'm saying though is, I bet you, if, if you look it. at if you look at a couple boxes of Raisin Bran, there's probably one that says uh, images enlarged to show texture detail. Oh yeah. Well, so that's assuming that the raisins are normal size. Mm -hmm. What if we assume that the that the sun is, is, is normal, normal size? size. Sun How size? fucking bigger than raisins? The reason like he doesn't do that is because it shows up in commercials next to children. I'm pretty sure. It is true. Somebody yeah. sent us a link actually on Twitter. Um, where the sun is actually like bumps into the the cornflakes, like uh, rooster? chicken rooster. Yeah, it does. It wakes him up. Yeah, and it's just like the same size it's as an the rooster. It's an optical illusion. He died. <laughs> it's an optical the illusion. The cornflakes rooster died. Well, he bumps into him. Even if he's he that size, burn. though, does he still retain the power of the sun? Well, he bumps into him on Earth, and like the Earth isn't being sucked in or anything like that. Nothing is, is being disintegrated or burned up. Yes. Sun might not be too hot. He is Maybe obviously he not a, a, like an actual star. He is some sort of like. Sun spirit thing. I love how we. Th this is it Jedi ghost? No. This okay. conversation no. about the raisin brand sun. He's flubber, but yellow. And how deadly it is has carried on through six or seven episodes at this point. <laughs> Turns Two out scoops, yeah. it's, a, it's a real threat. Turns and if out the raisins not are the that. Yes, yeah, yeah, deadly. Well, if he is the size he is of cool. the sun, yeah. he has two scoops of raisins, and each raisin is like the size of Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. He has to protect him. <laughs> he has to protect his eyes from himself. Yeah, you can't. You can <laughs> tell he's not that hot because those sunglasses are so fucking cool, right? Like, right. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's, <laughs> He's not is even that, is that our himself. day? Do we have any more? Do we have one question? Hit us with it, Gerardo. Hit awesome us with job it. though doing the math. That's what we'd love to see. Uh, Bangalangs, what is your favorite Disney movie song? Oh, you the main thing from Moana. Um, the main thing from Moana. That's really good. The, 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 main, the main thing theme, from Moana. The main theme from Moana. The main theme from Moana. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Very good. Um, I might have to say "Make a Man Out of You" by Mulan because that song is awesome. Yo. Um, under the sea. Nothing gets me like some steel drums. <laughs> some steel drums. Yo, it's just the truth, Despite... man. Despite? Okay. I've always liked uh, Scar's song, Be Prepared. Despite Be the Nazi prepared. imagery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the marching. Yeah. 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 Um, that's always that. It's really hard to pick out a favorite Disney song, but I think that's my favorite Disney villain song. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is kind of narrowing it yeah, down a really bit. Yeah, really good. Favorite Disney song in general? Jeez, I don't know. Um, hmm. I mean, Under the Sea, man. I mean, Under, under the Sea. Lion King has a ton of Lion great Lion King music. has a lot. They're written by yeah. Elton John, so. Yeah. yeah. But then, I mean, also, they team up with, like, all these ridiculous musicians, too. So, like, um, God, who is it? Who did the Tarzan theme? Uh, Phil Collins. Phil yeah. Collins, dude. He, he like, won a Grammy or an Oscar for yeah. that that year. He right. beat, he beat a uh, fucking... Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and he's, he, Phil Collins is literally the only reason Trey Parker and Matt Stone have not got their EGOT. Oh, really? Yeah, they have the Emmy, Grammy, and Tony. They don't have, or they have the Emmy, Oscar, and Tony, or whatever it is, okay. but they don't have the Grammy, I believe it is. Yeah, the Grammy's the because one that's Phil Collins, yeah, because Phil Collins beat him for Tarzan. <laughs> that's crazy. I yeah. Didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, but that was the one was good. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's probably uh, the best part about Tarzan, honestly. I mean, it's yeah. all anybody remembers about Tarzan. Well, that and um, yeah, definitely. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell voiced the. That's right. The ape that's his friend growing up. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yo, roll it back though. Bare necessities also really high on the list, oh, yeah. man. That's good. Yep. Balloon really knows good. what's up with it. Way too many Every guys... time I see trees, I'm like, I could scratch my back. Like, <laughs> I know what's up. I know what's Balloon up. Balloon taught me that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of good ones. Torian, you didn't answer. I did. Oh, yeah, you did. The Moana one. Well. Yeah, Moana. Moana's pretty good. Oh, Although God, I really a... liked, I actually really liked the rock song in that. I uh, really? Welcome. I hate I it. I like the rock song, too, but I, I think the song that she sung more often was pretty cool. The main Yo. theme is the best song in the whole thing. I, they I, they I just play it like, yet, all the so time. I don't know what's up. They do, so. but then it's because they're conditioning with you with it, and then when they kind of mix it up, and then they break into that part with the spirit grandmother, and you're just like, God damn it. <laughs> spirit grandmother. Well, and the also they want their songs to She turns into a ray. Yeah, you remember? But then she shows up as a spirit yeah. on the thing, and then that song. Yo, don't playing, spoil like, Mulana for me. I haven't watched it. Mulana, 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 Mulana. Mulana. whatever. Yeah, no, thanks. No I was saying the grandmother's gonna die in like the first You know what song I like didn't like in that movie minutes. though? The snail song, or, or that that not snail, the crab thing. Do you uh, know? Hermit crab. Oh, how shiny! Dare you? I like, shiny. Yeah. Okay, that song was good, right? I think that song is a lot of fun. It just completely killed the mood for that well, whole it, scene for me. It doesn't fit yeah, because do you, know you why? shouldn't have him singing over a sex scene like it's that. It's Jermaine weird. from Flight of the Concords. <laughs> yeah. And so he wrote that. I know, but and he's that, like the one intimidating thing in the whole movie. 
Yeah, and yeah, it's got it that kinda, crazy it kinda, song. Like, Yo, but they shouldn't have a guy from the Flight of the Concords doing a fucking Flight of the Concords song in a goddamn Disney movie. You should right. be doing well, a fucking Disney song. It's a song. Bowie spoof song. Yeah, like, yeah you, you should be doing like, a Disney yeah, song. Yeah, but like the that, that makes the only dangerous like des- like desperation part of that movie the very end. I know. Yeah, which kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, but okay. That's anyway. it. We need to wrap up. No Shut spoilers. up, y'all. Enough talk about for, for, for Moana Samuel over here. <laughs> for Moana. Moana. You're never gonna me. watch that movie. Somebody's probably already drawn a crossover thing with that, but Mulana would be just perfect. Mulana? Hey, the Mulana. only yeah, I mean you got what two out of three of the minority princesses they've ever had. So. Wait a minute, well, Mushu just eats the special needs chicken. What powers does she have? Moana? 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 Yeah. I mean, she doesn't specifically she doesn't herself have, have any powers. Okay. But the sea's got her back, so like. That is true. If she's fighting near the ocean, Ooh. that thing's gonna just lay some shit down. Moana versus Ariel, or when Aquaman. Ariel what has the, the staff. What about Aquaman? The, the, the trident. Aquaman. No matter what, the sea loses because it's like, no, I don't want to kill Moana. It's like I control well, you. The trident controls the sea, yeah. and the sea is Moana's friend. Yo, Ooh. I bet you they, Disney might do that movie where they they like you know hook up and they're like, what up, yo? I, I think we just We've got had our community you back, death Moana. battle. <laughs> I think we just got our community death battle. Moana versus the sea versus Ariel. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> yo, we do know Ariel is not that hard to trick, at least. Oh yes. I mean, that the is rock true. would trick her easily. Come into my cave of evil. <laughs> what is the rock doing here now? <laughs> Cause he was, he was the guy. Not the sea. Like, you should have been able yeah, to just look at Ursula and been like, nah, I'm good with whatever your deal is, you know? Yep. <laughs> and coming, coming soon, the story of Moana. Girl who just wanted to fit in with her father and then had to join the army on the ocean. <laughs> That's not at all what happened. <laughs> She's mixing it up. Oh, He's mixing it up. I oh, she, doesn't she have like it's a, a joke? Part. Doesn't she have a little harp thing or something? No. Oh, never mind. We out then. <laughs> Bye. Moana, Ken. Just shut it down, Gerardo. Right. Shut it down. They won't no. shut up. No, shut we it still down. have to decide on a community death battle. We did. Stop. It's Moana versus Mulana. Is, shut no. it down. <laughs> Bring it. Moana versus okay. Ariel. Sure. I guess we're doing Moana versus Ariel. Fuck Fighting it. next to the ocean. Second time. Yes. The well, they rock. have to be in the ocean. One of them is a fucking mermaid. <laughs> Drop it all. We're just going to do The Rock. Use the hashtag. No, we're going to do The Rock versus, God, what's his name from Emperor's New Groove? Pacha? Crunk? Pacha? Crunk? Pacha? No, Crunk. 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 Yeah, yeah. Crunk. Crunk. The Rock versus Crunk. We're done. Crunk. Close it so out. Close. Shut it down, Gerardo. Which one are we doing? You just confused them. Either. <laughs> Let's focus this in. We'll talk okay. about one. You, okay, Moana versus Ariel. Use the hashtag Death Battle Cast. Submit your answers. Pick yeah, the like one, you do. Well, Ariel does get the, the the her father's trident in the animated yeah. series. She can use it and control the ocean. Right. So I think that's interesting. Yes, so Ariel too. versus Moana. That's a community death battle. You can answer it well, yourself using the hashtag Death Battle Cast on Twitter. We will talk about it next time on the show. We uh, <laughs> we're live every Wednesday for first members, and we go up on iTunes and YouTube on Friday. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think we also go live for members R- on members Rooster tomorrow Teeth on Thursday. On Thursday. Um, so. So Kill it. On f- I hope yep. Mr. Margarita comes back. Me this too. Is fun. Thanks, Mr. Margarita. You're the best. You can get him on short notice. One, one last thing: um, The Rock versus Crunk. Bye. Good See time. you guys.